gonna film a video, film a video, yes sirree. Okay. <laughs> Hey it's Damo and I get a lot of messages from you guys asking me questions about sexuality and one of the most common questions is I think I'm asexual but I'm not sure or how can you tell if you're asexual and my honest answer is I don't know. I would love to be able to tell you hey if you do this 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 and this you can figure out your sexuality in just three weeks yeah baby cool but I can't because at least from my experience that's not what figuring out your sexuality is like at all. Mine took my entire life, and I'm not even sure if I have figured out my sexuality at this point. I feel comfortable with my sexuality and whatever it is it is, but I don't know if I've 100% nailed down what it is. So I thought rather than just giving you random tips that really make no sense and might not be relevant to your situation at all, I might just share my story about finding my own sexuality and hopefully you might be able to relate to something and maybe you'll get some comfort or some guidance or just a real entertaining time. Welcome to YouTube. Anyway, where are we gonna start? We're gonna go back to little six-year-old Damien. Little, tiny, not literally this big. This is very small for a six-year-old. If you're six and this, this big, you should join the circus. Anyway, the age of six is actually when I started dancing and I thought nothing of it. I was just a guy who wanted to dance and that was it. But apparently the rest of my school did not quite feel the same way. Now I'm not saying I had a terrible time in school, I was bullied but really not that badly, it could have been a lot worse, so I was quite lucky. But from the age of six, because I started dancing, I was constantly told that I was gay, and insulted for being gay. Even though, I don't know about you guys, but at the age of six, I wasn't really thinking about sex at all. Sex was not on my mind much as a six year old, um, I can't say I really thought about it a lot, I didn't really know what sexuality meant to be honest, I knew what gay meant, and I was indifferent to it, if men wanted to like men that was fine. But that wasn't me, because at the time I didn't really like anyone. Growing up I was just taught that it was normal to be straight, so that's what I assumed I was, because I didn't have any real strong feelings to any other sort of gender, so I just went, nah, I'm not gay, I'm straight, and that became my default response. Every time someone insulted me or even just asked me, my response was, I'm straight, because that was the normal and that's how I felt. Normal at the time. <laughs> because I'd been saying that for so long, I convinced myself that that was true and I didn't open myself up to any other possibilities for a very long time. I had quite a few female relationships growing up, lasting anywhere from three years to one week. <laughs> but throughout these relationships and over the years, I realized while I definitely cared for these girls, it wasn't quite right. There was still something missing, it didn't feel like everything fit together, and I still didn't really have any sexual urges, even though all of my girlfriends were hella attractive. Shout out to you if I've ever dated you. Yous is pretty. So I thought, well shit, must be gay. If I don't want to have a good time with all my women friends, then definitely I must just be gay. It's either A or B. There is no in between. No way, no possibility, no how. I was in for a shock. So I tried that for a little bit. I lost my virginity. I would say finally, because I think I was about 20, but there is no age for you to lose your virginity. You can do it whenever the hell you want, if you want to do it at all. And I was like, oh, well, sex is kind of shit. <laughs> Honestly, while I physically enjoyed myself because it was pleasurable, I wasn't having a good time with any of those experiences. It was just kind of like, I was doing it because I wanted to try it, but I always came out going, uh, oh, I would have rather just gone and got KFC or like played a game or done nothing. So naturally, I then came to the conclusion that, hey, sex just isn't for me. I'm asexual. Hello, 2015. Hello, coming out video in a train yard. That's why most of you are here, and that's why none of you watch my videos now, because I stopped talking about it. Sorry. Anyway, in 2015, I was touring with the circus in America, and it was amazing. I had a year to get away. I had a year to really, like, kind of find myself, and I feel like that's the most growing I've ever done in a year, was in 2015. And that's the year I came to the conclusion that I was asexual and I decided to make a video about it because maybe other people were having a similar experience and were also confused and would like to hear about it. So they can relate or something. I, I, can't, I can't really remember. It was a while ago. I mean, that's why I'm making this video, so. So anyway, I made that video. I came out as asexual, talked about what it meant to me and how I felt about it. Yelled at a few trains also. It, it... Train, shut up. Now it's coming back again. I don't understand this train. And I actually managed to help a lot of people and it really made me feel amazing. I like helping. So then I just went through life being asexual. That was my thing, that was the label I chose. It described me perfectly. I felt comfortable and I felt comfortable telling people that until uh, later. When I realized that picking a label puts you in a box and if you don't fit in that box perfectly, 
it makes you a bit uncomfortable to be in because it's a little bit squishy and you don't have quite enough room, okay? I found myself being a bit more sexually interested and active than I ever had been and thought I would be. And I don't know if this is because sexuality is fluid and it's always possible to change or just because I wasn't comfortable enough to start experiencing it yet. I need to burp. Oh my god. But I was definitely feeling different and like asexual wasn't really the best term to describe me anymore. So I did a bit of research and I looked into what other terms there are and I think I pretty much found me. But at the same time, I kind of just don't care anymore. It's kind of ironic that now I think I've actually found the correct label for my sexuality is when I care least about labeling my sexuality because I just don't care to limit myself. I'm gonna do what makes me happy and comfortable as long as people around me are also happy and comfortable. Okay. And the only real reason I see to label myself now is to just help explain to other people that are trying to understand, but at the end of the day, they don't need to understand unless it directly affects them, and that's very unlikely, honestly. If you do want to know what label I identify with most, though, oh my god, I am straight out of Tumblr. It is homoromantic demisexual, which is actually a form of asexuality where you don't experience sexual attraction until you have a strong bond with the person. You could just say, wow, Damien, you're just not a slut. Good job. But it actually goes a little bit beyond that, because I could be completely not interested in a person, then I start developing a connection with them, and goddamn, where did this sexy being come from? Holy shit. Like at first I don't even notice they have a face and then suddenly I want to eat their face. It's honestly a very weird feeling. But anyway, um, <laughs> the whole point of me telling this story was to show that it can be very complicated to figure out your sexuality and if you're having a hard time, you're not alone. I had a very hard time. It was confusing as shit. Take as much time as you need to figure out your sexuality. In fact, take all the time in the world. There's no pressure, there's no time limit. You never even have to actually label yourself if you don't want to. But if a label makes you feel comfortable, Pop one on, it's that easy. Do whatever makes you happy and do it in your own time. The only real advice I can give you is to push yourself while staying comfortable. Try new things that you want to try. Go out, but not too far. And hopefully through experience, you'll start to figure out what you like, what you dislike, what you want to keep doing and what you never want to fucking do again because oh my God, that was fucking weird. <laughs> But anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope it provided a little bit of comfort or guidance or entertainment. You know? If not, then well, fuck, I'll try harder next time. Sorry about it. If you did like what you saw today, maybe subscribe if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up so I know I'm doing the right shit. And uh, let me know in the comments what you want to see more of, because I have a lot of time to make YouTube videos. I quit my job for mental health. All right, cool. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video, but until then, fuck off.